guys so I am here with a quick product review um, a lot of you may know that the main choice came out with some new products a new hairline and it is their heavenly halo line so I did pick up a few products from the line and I will show you what I picked up so I picked up their shampoo their conditioner and I also got their softening milk. Now the line also did come with a pre-poo. I don't pre-poo, you guys know that, so I didn't get that. Um, they did have an oil. You guys also know I don't use a lot of oils on my hair, if any. Um, so I skipped out on that. And then, they, and then they also had a hair mask. Now, I love hair mask. I love deep conditioning, but. I was being a little cheap, I'm not gonna lie. Main Choice, their products, in my opinion, are pretty expensive. I think each of the products I got were like $16.99 each. So yeah, I just decided to get the conditioner, their rinse out conditioner. Because you guys know, um, if you watched my wash day, I usually shampoo and condition or I shampoo and deep condition. I never do the same two in the same wash day. I just feel like it's pretty pointless. But, um, yeah, I don't want to make this intro all extra long. I'm going to kind of just jump into the review. But, yeah, just looking at um, all of the bottles, I pretty much feel like this line is made, um, all of Main Choice's products are for growth and length retention. But this is for dry, thirsty hair to give you hydration, moisture. It says it's supposed to reduce breakage and shedding and just overall give you manageability with your hair and again all these products are mineral oil free petroleum free paraben sulfate etc all those good things if you are into like product products ingredients and stuff i'm not but yeah now i did not record um me using the shampoo and conditioner i'm sorry i know you guys for the most part like to see um visuals but it's just doing too much always trying to record the shampoo and condition process but um the shampoo and conditioner were my favorites that i picked up i love them so much i had high expectations for these because their last line the pink lemonade line if you want to see my review for that i'll um link it down below but I have been using those products consistently since I got them so I was like these two I know for sure are gonna be just as good and they were shampoo um, it had a light lather um, I'm sorry I'm running out of breath it had a nice light lather it made my hair feel nice and clean um, and the biggest thing of course it left my hair super moisturized did not strip my hair and I could even detangle my hair like run my fingers through my hair with this so definitely pick this up if you've been struggling with drying shampoos um and you just want something that'll make your hair manageable this is the conditioner it's the deep hydration conditioner um I used this and I fell in love it has a nice creamy consistency made my hair so soft and the slip was crazy. You, I had done a Bantu knot out that kind of was like, a, it turned out to look just like a perm rod set. And you guys know, wash day with the old perm rod set, at least for me, is ugh, it's super annoying. My hair's always tangled, just takes forever to detangle. But this like melted my curls and my comb went right through. So yeah and it says to leave on for like three to five minutes so i left it on for about five minutes while i showered and stuff in the shower my hair was so soft so yeah these two are my favorite from the line now i am going to show you guys some clips and stuff from using the softening milk um so this product it was a really nice consistency i really love the consistent consistency of it wasn't too thick but it was very creamy um and then it made my hair feel so soft and i'm not exaggerating it was so soft the only downside i saw to this was it did not instantly define my curls like they did not pop and my curls were very frizzy 
So if you were to do a wash and go with this, I definitely say you would need a gel. It would be, I feel like it would be good for a wash and go because of how soft it is. It would give you that moisture, but it definitely would need a gel or a styler to give you the curl definition you're looking for. Um, as far as my braid out, because that is what I did for a braid out, I'll leave you guys some clips. I thought it was going to come out really good, but I did not like my braid out, which is why I put it in this little half up, half down style. I did not like my braid out at all. It was very, very frizzy. Now, someone told me this product did not have much hold. Now I see why. I did have definition, don't get me wrong, but my hair was very frizzy. So for me, I love this product for the moisture, but as far as hold and the, my style, um, I don't know if I would use it again. Um, to recommend this, I definitely do say to pair this with something. I don't feel like it's good to just use alone, but that is just my opinion. Long story short, um, I, I did really enjoy these products, so I would recommend it to you guys if you are a product junkie like me and you just want to try something new. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much my review. I'm sorry if this video is long. I don't really like to do long videos, but I just wanted to give you guys the review. Um, my hair is soft. It's moisturized, but I just did not like how frizzy it was, so... Yeah, I just styled it in this style. It's the h bottom half is obviously down, and then the top I just put into a ponytail, wrapped it around like three times. So that is my hair. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I don't love the softening milk. So let me know if you've tried this line. Comment down below if you have or not. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.